What's up guys, it's Jay with Tech Everything, back with another review. Today I have something very cool for you small form factor and workstation lovers out there. The Quadro K1200. Let's check it out. You get a software and documentation pamphlet. It feels like there is. I'm looking at. You get a driver disc, quadro manual, blah 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 stuff you'll never use. Always download your drivers from their website. That this could be very old and uh, pin my card that you'll never use. You get four mini display port to regular display port adapters since there are four on the actual card. And the actual card itself. If you checked out my video on my mini ITX build, you know that I like really small form factor PCs, not normal standard mini ITX that can handle a full size GTX 980 or something like that. I like tiny, tiny systems that are small and silent. So for those form factors, you really can't fit full size graphics cards. In steps cards like these, the Quadro K1200. This is a single slot, half height graphics card, and it's the most powerful single slot half height graphics card on the market. So let's take a look at the specs. Okay, so here we have it. The K1200 features 512 CUDA cores, so it's not gonna be a graphical powerhouse. That's not really what this card is for. It is built technically for workstations, but you can squeak out around, I would say, uh, GTX 750's performance out of it. That's really what it's in line with. It's just much smaller. So, it, like I said, it has the 512 CUDA cores. It has four gigabytes of GDDR5 RAM. Now, that is where it separates itself from other cards of this size and in its class. You usually do not see four gigs of RAM in a card this size for this price. Now it is expensive, we'll get to that later. It has a 128-bit bus. It also has PCI Express 2.0. Instead of 3.0, they keep the power down a little bit that way. It has a 45-watt TDP. Now that's huge, 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 huge for uh, low power system builders like myself, small form factor, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. There is something important to note with this card. It does not have a full height adapter in the box. I have had some half height cards before that came with the adapter. This one does not, and I have not seen it sold online to this point. So that's something to be careful for. If you have a, when I'm thinking about getting this and putting it in a full height slot, you're not gonna be able to do that right out of the, out of the box. So I ran the benchmarks, and as you can see, this card isn't for gaming. You can run some games like uh, League of Legends, that sort of thing, but if you're looking to run GTA, Skyrim, anything graphic intensive, uh, you really need to look elsewhere. And you can get a ton of more powerful cards for less money. The boon to this is it's a Quadro card if you are running a workstation, and also it's tiny. So should you get a K1200? Well, that depends on what you need. If you are looking for a gaming rig, a powerful gaming card, this simply is not for you. If you're doing video editing, 
you want to drive multiple 4K monitors, doing product productivity, stuff like that, this is perfect. Everything aside from the price. Uh, the cheapest I've seen it is for $300 on Amazon. I'll give you a link below if you're interested. But for people who aren't doing small form factor builds, if you have a full size desktop, you can definitely get more bang for your buck. Small form factor builders, this is the most powerful car you can get. Thanks for watching guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Please like, follow, and subscribe for more videos. I'll see you next time.